Good evening. Good evening, good evening, Raquel. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Lee, este, Miss, voy en camino, por eso no llevo activada la cámara. Okay, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Gracias. Ya me conecté, Miss. Excellent. Welcome, welcome. When I say thank you for letting me know, eso significa gracias por dejármelo saber, okay? Para que no se vayan a quedar. ¿Qué está diciendo? No, it's thank you for letting me know, okay? So thank you. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to start, and I'm sorry about my delay. I know that I'm a little bit late. Yo les decía que iba a estar five minutes early, but a veces es imposible. Sometimes it's impossible, but I try to. So we're here right now, <clears throat> and we're going to continue with the class. So, um, and I, I appreciate your punctuality. I always appreciate that you are here on time because you know that your minutes count. Los minutos cuentan. Attendance is not only about saying present or saying I'm here. It's also about the minutes that you have here in the class. So that's why it's very important that you guys are here with us in the class. And so I appreciate that. <clears throat> okay, now, before we start, you know, we need to go with the attendance. Asistencia. We need to go with the attendance. And I'm going to start with the attendance right now. Let's just let me... Wow, we're about to end. We only have, did you know that we only have six, six more days and then we finish? Yes, it's only, uh, let me see, it's only today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that's it, yes. In that, we're gonna complete the module number one. After that, we're going to continue with number two, okay? If you have completed the attendance, the paperwork, documentation, the paperwork, and the platform, you're ready to continue in the second module, okay? Level number two of the basic one, okay? Well, let's go with the attendance. And remember, ¿cuántos empezamos? Like 30 people, y miren cuántos vamos quedando. Eso pasa, yes. No pierden motivación, porque la motivación se inicia. ¿Qué es lo que se pierde, les he dicho yo? La disciplina. La disciplina. Porque la disciplina es, aun cuando yo no quiero, me obligo, ¿verdad? Because I know what is my goal. That's disciplina. Ok, let's go. Karina Beatriz Núñez de Figueroa. I'm here, Miss. Okay. Catalina del Carmen Elías de Díaz. I'm here. Excellent. Claudia Beatriz Madrid Rodríguez. Tamaris Leticia García Torres. Present. Okay. Erika Joana Navidad Cortés. Catalina, yes, I heard you, you see. Erika Joana dijo, no, ¿verdad? Esmeralda del Carmen Rosales de Reyes. I'm here. Okay. Fátima Larisa Melara Palacios. I'm here. Fátima Tatiana Méndez de Ramos. No. Griselda Saraí Lara Mengíbar. Okay, Irene Berenice Presa Pérez. I'm here, teacher. Yasmín Elizabeth Rivas González. José Luis Escobar Ordóñez. Jocelyn Magali Vélez Rivera. Judith del Carmen Alfaro Rodríguez. I'm here, teacher. Julia Coronada Guzmán Velara. I'm here, Miss. Carla Patricia Castillo Mejía. I'm here, Miss. Kimberly Guadalupe Salazar Díaz. 
Present. Lucía del Carmen Mejía Ayala. Present, teacher. María José Cucufate Torres. Nuris Yaleni Rivas Palacios. Pablo Alejandro Vázquez Ramírez. Here. Ramón Alirio Ayala Villanueva. Raquel Azucena Portillo Bonilla. Rina Emily, Emily Sandoval Linares. I'm here. Dice Joana que escucha muy lejos mi voz. ¿Ustedes también o solo yo? No, yo la escucho bien. Yo también, la escucho bien. Excelente. Roxana Elizabeth Nieves Quiñones. I'm here, teacher. Valerie, no, Valeria Nicole Coreas López. Present. Wendy Mairena López Escobar. I'm here. Okay. Jamie Xiomara Navidad Cortés. Jennifer Esmeralda Aguilar Mejía. I'm here. Zulma Natividad Alvarado Beltrán. I'm here. Escuché un present por ahí, creo que fue Jamie. Sí, sí ayer. Okay. sí, ayer también. Oh, ok. Ok, uh, bueno, los demás, Claudia creo que me comentó ahí en el chat que se había conectado. Ok, let's see. I have some messages, I'm going to check them. It says, buenas noches. Teacher, um, soy Erika. No sé si me pasó el Yes, ahorita. Igual ayer le contesté de último, pero no sé si me escuchó. Sí, aquí está registrado, don't worry. Ok, gracias. Okay. Okay, Valeria. Ok, ok. I understand some activities you have, or some things you have, so you can have your camera on. That's understandable. Just for today, thank you for letting me know. Okay, I'd like to continue because we haven't done oh, some exercises. I think we only completed the section number three and that was it. So I would like to continue with some exercise from the section four and probably section five so we can have that complete today and tomorrow pro maybe. Let me just go ahead here with the with the platform, I'm sorry. And topics for today. Oh, the weather. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay, let me show you. Here my screen. Maybe some of you already did this. Algunos de ustedes probablemente ya lo hicieron. It's okay. Here we go. There we have the knowledge check, okay? Instructions, complete the conversations with the correct word. No, it's not hers, it's my or mine? My. Mine. My. Yesterday we saw this topic. Are these your gloves or yours gloves? Your. Your. Gloves. Your, your. Remember? Antes de lo que describe, this is before what we're describing, at least at the end. No, they are not gloves. Before mine. is mine. Mine. It's a Sally. Maybe they are her or hers. Her. Her gloves. Teacher, are these? This is who. Y para preguntar de quién. So we say who's. Like de quién. No, they are not. Their. Their t-shirts. These socks are there. Correct. At the end, when we go al final. And these shorts are yours. Yours. Hey, these are not ours. Or ours. Ours. Al final van esos los de la S. Ours. Ours. 
You're right. Los de nosotros, ahí sí sería. Nuestros. Los de nosotros, porque este es nuestro, los de nosotros. Okay? Nosotros mm -hmm. están por ahí. Mm -hmm. okay? Let's check. Yeah, they are all correct. Let's continue with the next exercise. Here it is. Okay. Instructions. Look at the pictures and input correct answers in blank. Some sentences. Some sentences will have a negative connotation and some positive connotation. I am wearing high heels too. Okay. My name is Claire. I am wearing a green suit today. And I. ¿Qué sería aquí? Um, I, I am, am wearing, wearing um, high heels too. It's raining, but I. Not wearing. I am not wearing. A raincoat. It's hot. Tosi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they... Negative? They are not. They are not wearing... wearing they are not wearing sunglasses. Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing. He's wearing a brown shirt. Podemos hacer la abbreviation, right? Contraction. But he is not, right? Yeah, I don't see a tie. ¿Saben qué es un tie? It's not wearing. Yeah. Bata. But he's not wearing a tie today. It's a vocabulary we saw it yesterday. It's cold today, but Kitty isn't wearing a coat. She is wearing. Is nah. wearing is wearing sweatshirts, gloves, and a hat. She oops, she is not, right? It's not or wearing. Not. She is not. Not wearing boots. She Ya la hizo usted, ya se la sabe. Qué bien. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Porque me apague el audio. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, let's go with the last one here. Perdón, teacher. <laughs> no, it's okay. You did you can say it. It's okay. Let's go. Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Is yeah. Yo no sé ese color. I don't see. I don't. I don't know if that color is light blue or not. Oh yes, it is. Pareciera, dark green. pareciera un dark green, right? Dark green. But it's. I think it's yes. light. Yes. Green. Okay. Anyways, pero déjenme que se me toque la pelota. Okay. Yeah. Let me. Oh, okay. Don't stop. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's wearing glasses, right? Not. No, he is not. No, tiene glasses, no son glasses. Is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? Yes, she is. She is. She is. She is. is John wearing blue jeans? Not, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, he isn't también. Is Anita wearing a yellow shirt? No, she's not. She's not. But she isn't. Okay, let's check the answers. 
they are correct. Good job. So we finish. And I want to take this opportunity to tell you about something. But I said let's get okay. When we say blue jeans, okay, we're talking about jeans that are colored blue, right? No, usted cuando diga me compré un blue jean negro. Un blue jean negro. Right? Ven, ven, ven que no es correcto. Yo sí le disonancia en eso. Blue jean negro. ¿Por qué no es correcto? A ver si alguien, so if you can explain that to me. Y a un, 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 un pantalón azul de, 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 de Luis. Ajá. Entonces ya no tiene que decir negro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Solo un blue jeans. O un jeans negro. Jeans. O un black jeans. Yeah. Black Ahora, jeans. ¿se han fijado uh -huh. que mucha gente aquí a los jeans le dice blue jeans? Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And it's not correct. Ahora, yo no le estoy diciendo con esto que usted va a ir al mercado central. No, ya va a ir al mercado y le va a decir la señora, anda buscando un blue jean, ¿qué color lo quiere? Y usted le va a decir, mire señora, en inglés... No, no, ¿verdad? O sea, también ubiquémonos, no vamos a ponernos a pelear <ríe> con cosas que no, o sea, es para su conocimiento, pero no para que le vaya a decir a la señora que ella no sabe, que para ella es su venta, ¿right? Hay que, hay que ser profesionales, ¿right? Saber dónde aplicar lo que conocemos y dónde, ¿right? <ríe> no se vaya a ganar una bendición por ahí, ¿ok? So, <ríe> es que la tía... Entonces hay que decir blue jean o jeans. 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 Oh. Si es azul, blue jean. Ah, si es azul, blue jean. Sí, porque si es negro. Pero su black jean. Black jean, ok. Thank you, teacher. White jeans, yeah. Porque por eso les digo, no vamos a decir, teme un blue jean blanco. Un azul jean blanco. Uno de la bandera del de Salvador quiere, la, o sea, eh, tal vez otros son no buscando, something like that, right? Because there is no such thing. No hay algo así. <laughs> that doesn't exist, okay? Okay, let's go with the activities we have for today. I would like to go with the topic. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we have some important topics. Well, let's go just with vocabulary topic, and then we're going to go with some other topics that I need to cover today. Okay, uh, let me see. We're going to talk about seasons. Yesterday, I told you what are seasons. Do you remember what are seasons? Las estaciones. Exactly. Estaciones. Son las estaciones del año. Station, no. A station is a bus station. A gas station. But no stations in the year. Those are seasons, okay? Season. So today we're going to talk about the seasons of the year. Aunque El Salvador, even though in El Salvador we only have like two seasons, right? Like summer and spring. Si tenemos calor o lluvia, that's it. <laughs> no more. Okay. Now, here we have spring. Spring. This time of the year is when it rains. Rains. Do you know what is rain? Lluvia. Exactly. When it rains a lot, a lot of the rain. Then we have summer. Summer. Summer is most of the time in El Salvador. It's hot and we have the sun and it's really hot. What is hot? Caliente. Then we have autumn or fall. Autumn or fall is when the leaves fall from the trees or when there is a lot of wind. Do you know what is wind? Yeah. Exactly. When there is a lot of wind. Usually around October, right? Yo recuerdo que antes era más. Today is a little bit less. Then we have winter. <clears throat> In El Salvador, we call winter something that is not winter. Le llamamos winter algo que no es winter en realidad. Decimos, ya viene el invierno y va a llover. That is not winter, ¿verdad? Eso es spring. Es, spring es uh, primavera, cuando llueve, right? El winter no es 
El winter es cuando todo está seco y frío. En El Salvador no pasa mucho eso. But if you want to call winter a time, sería como en December, ¿ok? O se pone un poquito más helado entre noviembre, diciembre, November, December, and January, around that time. So, spring, summer, autumn or fall, aunque este se le puede decir, you can say it this way or this way, but this one is the most common one, fall, fall. And then finally we have winter, right? Winter. Now I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna ask you a question. The question is, oh no, wait a moment. What is your favorite season? And you're gonna tell me my favorite season is, and you tell me the answer. Okay, so this is the question I'm asking you, and you're gonna send to the chat the answer, okay? So what is your favorite season? Send it to the chat, please. And you say, my favorite season is, and you tell me what is your favorite season, okay? <clears throat> Okay, spring, 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 summer, spring, 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 a lot of spring. Okay, okay, got it. <laughs> it seems like spring is the most popular. Winter, we have winter now, okay. Team spring, <laughs> my favorite season is spring. Oh my God, spring is going on so far. Nobody likes summer? You don't like summer? Let's see. Hot weather. Winter. So you're divided? Well, most people, well, see, yes. So Griselta likes summer, okay. And Jennifer Esmeralda, she likes summer too. And Pablo. Pablo likes summer, okay. Raquel too, okay. Winter, spring, wait a moment. Tenme un segundito. Okay, my favorite season is winter, spring. Okay, I think we have a winner. The winner is obviously spring. You like the rain, you like the rain. ¿Les gusta la lluvia? You like the rain, yes? Yeah. Yes. I like the rain. What I don't like is to go to work with rain. <laughs> I prefer to be at home in my bed on my bed with a blanket and a pillow and be like that, right? That is or with a little bit of coffee, like a cafecito, that oof, perfect. That's the perfect weather. But if not no le digas <laughs> sí. Stop. <laughs> 
okay. You see, that's a problem with the rain. Se mojan los perritos and then they smell funny. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, well, let's continue. Now I'm going to show you vocabulary related with the weather. Do you remember what is weather? Clima. Exactly. So we're going to see weather vocabulary. So here we have it. We have sunny, partly sunny, it's when we had more clouds. So this is a sun, this is a cloud. So when we have more clouds than sun, then that is partly sunny. When we have more sun than clouds, it's partly cloudy. When we have sun and we have rain, it's sun and rain. This is raining. This is a thunderstorm. This is a thunder, you see? Okay, when you hear it, it's a thunder. When you see it, it's a lightning. This one, you understand? If you hear it, it's a thunder. If you see it, it's a lightning. Do you understand the difference? So what is a thunder? Sería un trueno. Lo que escuchamos es el trueno y lo que vemos es la luz del el rayo. El rayo. So, of course, so thunder is trueno. And thunder. when you say lightning, that is? El rayo. Exactly. Good. We have understood. Excellent. No que se ve. Yeah, exactly. So when you see the light, the light is the lightning. That's why it's called lightning. Then snowing, snowing. Then we have it cloudy, cloudy, only clouds. Windy, rainbow. Tornadoes, hurricanes. This is written the same words in Spanish, the same way that is in Spanish. Tornados, but it's the pronunciation is different. Tornadoes, okay? Tornadoes, hurricanes, and clear. Clear is when we don't have clouds, we don't have anything, everything is clear. Clear is when you can see the stars. It's very clear. Okay. Now, I'm going to send you the pronunciation. Spring, summer, autumn or fall, winter. Sunny, partly sunny. Partly cloudy, sun and rain, raining, thunderstorms, snowing, cloudy, windy, rainbow, tornadoes, hurricanes, clear. Okay? So what are we going to do in this moment? We're going to go to the break rooms and we're going to practice pronunciation with the new vocabulary, okay? You have the audio in the WhatsApp group. So you can listen to the audio and repeat. Do you understand, the Pablo? No sé si solo soy yo, mis, pero la última línea de texto de, lo, de la segunda imagen no, no me salía. O, por ejemplo, lo de Windy no me salía Windy. Ni el rainbow, ni nada. Bueno, estaba compartiendo. Como ahí. que me salía cortada la imagen, no sé si, si solo Pero a mí. sí se ve, y al grupo enviaron varias imágenes en donde sí se ve la letra. Okay. Ah, can bye, you, bye. Can, can you see, can you check, Papa, in the group? Ahorita, ahorita. Ya la envié al WhatsApp, Miss, así okay. con, donde se ven todos los nombres. Ok, 
thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Sí, a lo yes. gracias. Excellent. Perfect. So now we're gonna go practice pronunciation. Remember, this is a time to practice, not to be quiet. Es hora de cometer errores para aprender, no de estar calladitos. No. Nope. Okay, let's go. Hello, Jocelyn, Fátima, Erika, Jamie. Let's go.
Mowin, Chloe, Wendy, Reynolds. Mm -hmm. Clear. No. Creo que se quedó sin señal, no sé si soy yo. Sí, se le yo. cortó. Se quedó sí, en no. Snowing. Sí, se le cortó. Snowing, Chloe. Ah. Okay. No Sunny, Harley, Sunny, Harley, Chloe, Sun and Rain. Raining, thunderstorm, snowing, cloudy, windy, rainbow, tornadoes, hurricane, clear. Excellent. Nice Next. Start. Okay. Sunny. Par Parley Sunny. Parley Cloudy. Sun and Rain. Hello again. Okay. So now we practice the weather vocabulary and the seasons vocabulary. Now we are going to continue with a different topic, okay? The topic we're gonna talk about right now is called present continuous, okay? The present continuous is something we use to talk about activities or actions that are happening in this moment, okay? And for that, we're going to use ing at the end of the verb. For example, dance, dancing, speak, speaking, listen, listening, write, writing. Give me a second. Salud, but not saying bless. You say bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Eso es algo que siempre aprenden mis alumnos con mis alergias. <laughs> okay, so I was saying before, um, and we're going to use the verb to be as well, the verb to be, to go with this. In Spanish, I like to call this ando, endo. 
the ing is the ando endo. For example, dance means bailar, right? Dancing means bailando. You see, ando. Read means leer. Reading means leyendo. Endo. You see? So, ing equals ando or endo at the end of the verb in Spanish. That's it. Now, let me explain to you how we're going to use it. Basically, the first rule we need to follow is how to make affirmative statements. And for that, we have a rule. We have subject. Wait a minute. We have subject. Then the, we have the verb be according to the subject. Then we have the verb. And to this, we add ing. And then we have a complement. I am playing soccer. You see, I am paying attention to what I am doing, okay? Like this. Subject, verb to be, verb with ing, complement, in the same order. Now. To make negative statements, we're gonna use subject, verb B, not, verb with ing, complement. Okay? For example, the same sentence, but in this case it's gonna be I am not laying soccer okay i am not playing soccer let's do it again i am not but with ing soccer now to make questions the same thing but we're gonna open the question with the verb to be p plus subject, plus verb with ing, plus complement, plus question mark, okay? The question will be, are you playing soccer? And then we have it like this. Give me a Como esto es una a close question, una pregunta cerrada, we only have two types of answer. Vamos a tener solamente dos tipos de respuesta, only two types of answer, okay? Affirmative and negative. The affirmative will be yes, I am, with the verb to be. The negative will be no, I am not. Not. Okay? So, Affirmative, negative, questions and answers. Karina, tell me. En la negativa podría ir, no, hay not. Yeah, contraction. Contraction. Yes. Okay. yes. For example, if it wasn't she, we can say she isn't, right? Pero she is not, she isn't. Okay, now, if you have that, thank you to the one that sent it to the chat. Sent to the chat. Okay, now, oh my God, I don't know. The ing at the end of the verb is not only 
be, just because. Solo le voy a añadir a lo loco. We have rules, okay? Mostly we are ing. Mayoría de veces, just ing. But we have rules. So let me show you how to form the verb with the ing. And this is how, okay? Most verbs just add ing. Hold, holding, read, reading, drink, drinking. Now we have verbs that end with the letter E. In these cases, you're gonna delete the letter E and you're going to add ing. You see? Delete, add ing. Take, taking. Leave, leaving. Now we have verbs ending in X, Y, or W. Only add ing. Esta es una excepción, lo voy a decir en español, es muy importante porque hay reglas que dice, por ejemplo, si termina en consonante, vocal consonante, hay que duplicar la última consonante. Pero si es una de estas últimas consonantes, no aplica ninguna de las reglas y solo se agrega ing. ¿Ok? Si es cualquiera de estas consonantes, no aplica las otras reglas, solo se agrega ing, como esta de aquí primero. For example, the next one says, if we have a verb that ends with a consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the last consonant and add ing. So we have swim, swimming, run, you see, consonant, vowel, consonant, running, put, putting. Then, verbs that end in IE, <coughs> we change the Y and only add ING, okay? We change it, the IE for Y and add ING, okay? Now, to make sure we're understanding this topic, we're going to do an activity based on that. <coughs> Now we have it, let me show you. Send you the link. There you have the link. And I wanna show you what we're gonna do, okay? So for example, we have play. In this case, with this verb, we only are going to add ing. Try. I'm gonna say trying, but let's see. Hmm. For example, create, create. What happens with this verb according to the rules? Se quita la e y se agrega I -N. Exactly, Creating. we delete the letter E and add ing. Uh, for example, with this verb, what happens? Te repite la consonante la N, rolling. We double the last consonant. Okay? So once you finish that, you're going to click here, terminado. You're going to click on here, and you're going to send your grade to the WhatsApp group. Do you understand the activity we're doing in this moment? Yes. Yes? Okay. Let me see some. Miss. Mm -hmm. um, Entonces, cuando sea consonante, le vamos a poner otra I, o como es. Como consonant, entiendo. vowel, consonant. Okay. If it ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant, then yes, we double the last consonant. But only si terminan vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay. Okay. Irene. En caso de, de tie, Literal se sustituye la E por la I. I, E. The I, E for Y. Uh, entonces sería TAI y solo le agregamos INT. TAI. ING. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y, ING. Gracias. Mm -hmm. I just want to check. Okay, let's go.
What happened, Lucia? Hello. Okay, welcome back. I know that we didn't have probably enough time, but it's time to go and I have the other classes, you know. So we're going to continue uh, with the less attendance and I just want to confirm um, who are the people who are here, okay. So just with the people that were in at the beginning. Solo con los que no estaban al inicio. Voy a confirmar, okay. Let's see. Um, Fatima, Tatiana. Yes. Jasmine Elizabeth, Jocelyn Magali, Maria Jose Cucufate, I'm here, Nuris Yaleni, no está. Ramon Alirio, Raquel Azucena, I'm here, present, present, present. Raquel? Okay, Ramon. No está Raquel? Is not Raquel here? Okay. Bueno, that will be it for today. And remember, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye. Have a good night. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.